Hello and welcome to Gyandata channel. This channel is totally dedicated to the management related studies. So, today we are going to discuss all about Herbert Simon model on decision making. Herbert A. Simon, the Nobel Prize winning researcher, shows that the human went through three essential stages in the act of problem solving. He called this intelligence, designs, and choice stages. Decision making can also be considered as a type of problem solving. Herbert A. Simon has given a model to describe the decision making process. Whenever we discuss about the Herbert Simon model, we majorly focus on the decision making process. The core of this process is described by the Herbert Simon model. Herbert Simon aimed to understand the processes that participate in human decision making. Well, talking about the intelligence phase, this is the first step towards the decision making process. In this step, the decision makers identify or detect the problem or opportunity. A problem in which managerial context is detecting anything that is not according to the plan, rule or standard. The example of the problem is the detection of sudden high at risk for the present month by a HR manager. Opportunity seeking on the other hand is the identification of the promising circumstances that might lead to better results. An example of the identification of an opportunity. For an example of identification of an opportunity, where a marketing manager gets to know that two of his competitors will shut down the operation where the demand is constant for some reason in the next three months. This means that he will be able to sell more in the market. The identification of the problem is also as well as the identification of the opportunity cleared. Thus, we say that either in the case of a problem or for the purpose of the opportunity seeking, the decision making process is initiated. And the first stage is the clear understanding of the stimulus that triggered this process. If a problem or opportunity triggers this process, then the first stage deals with the complete understanding of the problem or opportunity. Intelligent phase of the decision making process involves problem searching. Though for searching the problem, the reality or actual is compared to some standards. Differences are measured and differences are evaluated to de determine whether there is any problem or not. Whereas, when a problem is identified, there is always a risk of solving the wrong problem. Design Process Design is the process of designing solution outlines for the problem. Alternative solutions are designed to solve the same problem. Each alternative solution is evaluated after gathering the data about the solution. The evaluation is done on the basis of the criteria to identify the positive and the negative aspects of each solution. Quantitative tools and models are used to arrive at this solution. At this stage, the solutions are only outlines of actual solutions and are meant for analysis of their suitability alone. A lot of creativity and innovation is required to design solutions. Choice phase It is a phase in which the possible solutions are compared against one another to find out the most suitable solution. The best solution may be identified using the quantitative tools like decision tree analysis or qualitative tools like the six thinking hat or false field analysis. Etc. There are various qualitative and quantitative tools which can be used for selecting the best possible solution. This is not as easy as it sounds because each solution presents a scenario and the problem itself may have multiple objectives. Making the choices process a very difficult one. Also, uncertainty about the outcomes and the scenarios make the choices of a single solution difficult. For example, a manager finds on collection and through the analysis of the data that the manufacturing plant is underutilized and the products which are being sold are not contributing to the profit as desired. The problem identified therefore is to find a product mix for the plant where the plant is fully utilized within the raw materials and the market constant and the profit is maximized. The manager having identified this as a problem of optimization, now examines the use of linear programming model. The model is used to evolve various decision alternatives. 
However, the selection is made first on the basis of the feasibility and then on the basis of maximum profit. The product mix is so given is examined by the management committee. It is observed that the market constraints were not realistic in some cases and the present plant capacity can be enhanced to improve the profit. The same model is used again to tool the revised solid position. Therefore, additional data is collected and analysis is made to find out whether the average 20% utilization of the capacity can be increased. A market research for some product is made. And it is found that some constraints need to be removed and reduced. That's all for today's video. You can share your queries in the comment section. And for more management related learning videos, you can subscribe to the channel Gyandata and press the bell icon for the notification. Thank you.